It was 40 years ago that America was gripped with the story of serial killer David Berkowitz, better known as the Son of Sam. He terrorized New York City with a string of attacks that left six people dead. Now on the 40th anniversary of the crimes, Les Trent has a look back at the case, including an interview with a victim who narrowly escaped death. Shards of glass were all over my arms, my hands, and um, I did, although I was shot in the head, I didn't realize it. He's talking about the moment he was shot in the head by the notorious serial killer known as the Son of Sam. My head went down and my hair was holding in all the blood from the head wound and my shirt just turned blood red. The Son of Sam terrorized New York City for 13 months, reaching a crescendo 40 years ago during the summer of 1977. It was the disco era. America's greatest city was on the verge of collapse. Burned out buildings, a terrifying blackout, riots and looting, and a soaring crime rate. And there was the Son of Sam. That was the name he gave himself in a series of letters to the police and newspaper reporters. I am a monster. I am the Son of Sam. Can you tell people what these killings did to this city? It caused a lot of fear. Retired NYPD detective Marlon Hopkins was one of the task force of 300 cops trying to solve the murders that made gruesome headlines. The son of Sam targeted young women, killing six people in all and wounding seven, including Carl De Niro, who was shot while sitting in a parked car. Four decades later, the trauma is still fresh. I'll jump if a car backfires. If, you know, I'll, I'll jump or if someone walks up behind me. It was the murder of this woman. 20-year-old Stacy Moskowitz that ended the killing spree. Somebody came up with the idea, let's check parking summonses in the area. A parking ticket issued on a car that was not from the neighborhood raised suspicion. That car belonged to 24-year-old mailman David Berkowitz. In the car, there was um, a sack in the back and the, the butt of a rifle was sticking out. Please don't move! The moment Berkowitz was taken down was depicted in Spike Lee's Summer of Sam. He finally got me. First words were, I'm the son of Sam. Berkowitz is serving six consecutive life sentences and will likely never be freed. In 1999, he spoke to Inside Edition expressing regret for his crimes. The David Berkowitz of the past was a very uh, guy living without a lot of without any hope and uh, was a very uh, troubled and tormented person. Uh, was a, I believe that I was a demon possessed. The 40th anniversary of that deadly summer is being recalled in documentaries on Investigation Discovery and the Smithsonian Channel. Police transported David Berkowitz. New York is a very different city today than the one terrorized 40 years ago. But America will never forget the son of Sam. Over the years, there have been theories that the son of Sam didn't act alone. However, there have never been any other suspects connected with the murders. And we'll be right back with much more Inside Edition after this.